Hey, I'm Joshua Hamlin, and I'm going to show you how to cook and eat crawdads. We've been chasing them around in this creek, pulling these guys out. Got a bucket full of them here. Notice what color they are right now, and then we'll show you what color they are after they cook. Um, keep watching, and we're going to go start a fire now. Okay, what we have here is some boiling crawdads. They are done. Notice that slime in the water, that yellow, yellow bubbles. That is fat. Crawdad fat. But look how red they are. These guys are ready for eating. What I'm going to do is pour this water off. Now have a look in there. Look at these big meaty red guys. They're a little hot, so we'll let them cool off for five minutes and then we'll come back and eat them. Okay, here we got to call that. Hey, I'm about to be eaten. Um, this is how you break them apart. You just grab the tails and pull like so. Pull that out. Set down the head somewhere. Now, this is hard to get it off. Um, what you do is you take it and you break it like so. You peel it just like you do a shrimp. I usually break the bottom off because it makes them peel out easier. And then just pull it out. And that is your chunk of meat. But it has a vein in it. And we'll just use his claw to get that out. Um, down its back, down its back it has a mud vein in it. We gotta pull that out or we'll get gross tasting mud in our mouth. Basically crawdad shit. So we pull that out. There it is, our delicious piece of meat. Dip it in the batter, that makes everything great. Pop it on our mouth. Oh, ah, that's good. That is like the best tasting crawl I've ever had. You take the heads, suck out all that juice because it's delicious. With giant claws like this, you might be able to eat the claws. Let's see if we can. Usually the claws are too small, but we're going to give it a try. If I can find some way of breaking this. There we go, I just did it by hand. Yeah, there's a lot of meat in there. Mmm, oh my god. That is good. Mm. That's how you do it. Alright guys, dig in.